Yes. Yeah. So can you tell me what kind of profile are we doing to discuss today? Is it Instagram, Facebook, or which profile are we talking about? Well, oh, it. Me... Oh, sorry. Come again. Well, well. I was saying, is it not Tinder profile, right? It's not. It's not. Okay. I gave it a fair thought. I said, I, I thought, you know, should we do Bumble, Tinder? What should we do? I said, no. Let's talk about, you know. building up your cvs yeah. and and basically uh, i think this is a very trendy term that people are aware you know you have to yeah. have a good profile if you want to work in fancy places and apply for good universities so it's about yeah. that profile unfortunately or okay. fortunately ayush i see yes yeah i think this is a culture in india you know even before doing marriages we first shortlist the profiles Oh yes! Oh, damn it! Yes, I didn't realize that. Yes, very well. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. So I basically, mean, so students, profiles are very important. Yeah. Absolutely. So students, be it your resha or your career, we are here for you. Today we are going to discuss about profiles, and we have with us the expert Manali to tell us about it. Lovely, lovely, Ayush. Ayush, so yeah. let us get right into it. Let us begin with a conversation. Absolutely. Yes. i have a question for you ayush so when you were in sure. school and or let's mm-hmm. say when you were in your college let's say in your under graduation um what were you told like how what did your lecturers tell you or what was your understanding of applying for higher education or or you know applying for a job what what did you think that ha agar main ye karunga then this will help me what was happening in your head right right so for me it was always being about having a balanced profile ke matlab decent uh, grades hone chahiye decent thoda hmm. humne extra curricular kar diya hai so i was looking for a more of a balanced profile mm-hmm. because i am not a person who specializes in one thing like i am not definitely a topper or a person who excels in sports so i was going for a balanced kind of profile right very well very well that's i think that's that's what majority of students want right so yeah, right. that's where the question begins okay that mm-hmm. is how do you want your profile to be okay now i'll give you a very simple example as 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 easy this question sounds it isn't now you have to categorize yourself at what profession you're looking at first thing ayush that is very important now for me uh, if if any kid comes to me and they're like ma'am we have to bring up you know b- bring up a very great profile for me to apply for universities but please try to understand all the universities have different criterias they have their own rubrics to choose students some universities want you only to be excelling at academics okay mm-hmm. and some universities want you to be uh, you know like with a flair in in everything in all your co curricular activities and mm-hmm. etc so you need to do your first research there now if you're of the idea that you know i'm going to finish my undergraduate and apply for a job then what in this scenario what exactly happens is i is is what i'm going to de- tell everyone today so are you sh- the problem is i feel that you know since our childhood we have been told that you should do only one thing abhi tumhara aim ye hai so you are going to focus only on this now let's say you are doing engineering uh, a very simple example i your- <laughs> i get so so you are going to only study engineering and do nothing else right that's where you're going wrong please understand everyone all you students and freshers out there that it doesn't work like that the the competition outside it's it's humongous it's gigantic and you need to be very well prepared and and the age doesn't matter let me tell you you could end up having excellent opportunities regardless of your age so let's keep that aside for a moment okay now understand what are you going to do in those four or three years in your undergraduate that's where your profile building starts okay so first of all the stream which you've chosen ayush now let's say i'll give you my example so when i was doing my undergraduate i did uh, triple majors in psychology journalism and english literature so it was a very wow. fancy course yes and and however uh what i was told and i'll never forget this is that you need to explore everything in your field right mm-hmm. now if i'm if i'm taking let me take an example of english literature it, there is teaching there is content writing there is editing there is this there is that there are so many things so mm-hmm. i should be aware about all of these things so find out how in depth and how relevant your subject is to the current field and if it's not yeah. uh you need to do some research you need to find out some strings to it now second thing 
enroll yourself for courses which are provided by you know the government of india is providing a lot of amazing courses through neptel i repeat n p t e l neptel and all these courses are by the iit institutions across india so it's it's a it's a beautiful course and not just one i mean there are many courses uh, regardless of your stream it, uh, commerce and your humanity science you choose whatever it is so you have a lot of courses now that is one thing enrolling yourself to these sideline courses and get your certifications one after the other second thing is learning languages now when i say languages i specifically mean foreign languages please understand that i'm not putting down your um, your mother tongue or your regional language that's not what i'm coming at my thing is that if you know a foreign language let's say you specialize forget foreign language if you know some language uh, even if something like uh, some indian language for that matter and you have gained mastery over time the opportunities you get you 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 are going to explore in that field gets maximized a lot Thanks. so think of it like this now if i if you take up spanish you're going to have opportunities in spain you're going to have opportunities in australia because there's a lot of spanish population and you have got the america and latin america you have got four continents covered if you are doing french uh, then you have france and uh, then you also have canada safe Thanks. you have canada if you have german you, you if you've done german you have switzerland austria liechtenstein and germany so be calculative like that don't do it just for fun ha kar liya some class i joined don't do that get your get your certifications you have uh, every foreign language has their own government um, assessment that that are placed you need to get that done even if you if you've decided to do to learn chinese uh, the thing is uh, i'll tell you are you surprisingly uh, if you want opportunities in certain parts of african continent you need to know chinese because that because of the acquisition that have happened yeah they have uh, many over there right yeah exactly exactly so yeah. the moment you the moment you start i wish i i can hear I, myself I, I get repeated uh, yeah yeah i think ayush is having some trouble Yeah. I can see so a comment. To... Ayush, yeah, okay. yes, yes, go on. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I, I was just asking. I'm audible now. Yes, you are. <laughs> Please continue. Please continue. Yes, yes. So uh, you have to be calculated like that, and how relevant it is, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, after that, that is the second thing. You know, you you learn, you pick up some skills. now if you say that ma'am i'm not good at languages i miss i don't want to do languages this is too much work for me then um, find another thing you know along with your degree with your main degree what is the other thing that really is relevant to it and you can really have fun learning and also is going to be very economic again i wish there's some repetition happening again i wish can you hear me Yes, yes, I can hear. I was getting a call, so that's why. Uh, was, oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, so yes. So, uh, you know how economical is it going to be? You know, it has to fetch you returns. I know I'm talking very technical and and very practical here, but this is how it is. Please try to understand yes. everyone. Yes. yes. And then every semester, so all all of your years are divided into sems. Okay. Please understand, you should do minimum three internships. you sh- you must it is a must i feel that it should be compulsory in all our educational institutions to have internships yes and please do not expect to get paid and then you know get uh, fancy payments and have a lavish life immediately it doesn't work like that so you have to work without getting any credits for a very long time if you do imagine uh, just calculate a bit if you have six semesters and if you have done three internships how value addition it is going to be when you when you have immediately graduated right that's the third part of it and then which takes me to the last part is research i mm-hmm. hate to see this like you know i i hate to see this that people are not at all inclined towards research i i remember all my lecturers and everyone my my uh, grandparents time you know they are lecturers they were they they were publishing works i understand it's very academic 
but then if you feel that you know i i don't want to do internship i don't want to learn foreign language then what then at least produce some research papers you need to go you need to be part of these forums and and establish yourself in some manner Right. This is Very the cool. most pre- yeah. yes 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 Ayush. Yeah, yeah. see, this reminds me of a quote from Benjamin Franklin. Uh, uh-huh. He said, uh, said that either do something worth writing or write something worth reading. That's it. True. Yeah. Very well. Very well. Yes. Yeah. Now the the reason of all of this. Now I I see if somebody has commented called Scream Maya mm-hmm. saying that you know, isn't life supposed to be fun, mom? uh i'll tell you what it's really fun if you're doing what you love it's really fun you would naturally want to learn more yes maya right. if you're not finding it fun i think then you are maybe in a wrong field but then you should love what you do certainly yes right. Right. yes and and the reason right. is what happens uh, ayush what happens is that people realize this after they have graduated you know after mm-hmm. their under graduation after their post graduation and that time it's yeah. too late to get even entry level jobs these days uh, as mm-hmm. we've had this conversation before you know they they are asking right. for one or two years of experience how how would people get it right i think internships are the answer it is it is uh, it really yeah. is you have vacation you mm-hmm. have diwali vacation we have so many things going on and and please try to be a little bit logical it's not about ki ek hi degree bas hai doesn't work like that please understand everyone it doesn't work like that you need to be exposed to the subject whatever you're studying may it be journalism or engineering whatever it is you have to be very passionate about what you're doing you should know you should have that inclination towards knowing more what's happening how relevant it is so it it is all internal of course but this is the best uh, this is the best and the easiest and and the most um, uh, how would i put it v- very uh, mm-hmm. systematic manner actually to to have a very safe beginning is what i feel mm-hmm. yes i yeah. absolutely absolutely and and the thing is uh, you know people get connected get on linkedin after they they are done with their graduation after they are done mm-hmm. that's wrong that's one more thing that people are doing wrong I know you don't have much to put on your profile but then a lot of things are happening on LinkedIn a lot of things are happening on yeah. these spaces so you should be active while you are studying you should be making contacts while you are doing your projects that's when you build it up and get more resources so uh, yes this this is how it is and and it's not going to be okay for those who are in your post graduation please understand it's it's not that easy okay just because you are done with your post grad it doesn't mean that you would be landing up job like this uh, i feel every tom dick and harry has a post grad mm-hmm. these days i'm yeah. sorry to be brutal but that's true yeah yes so so you know what have you done where where have you volunteered now a lot of universities want you to uh, have a volunteering certificate from an ngo Right? right so so find out a local entity wherein you can do something probably weekly biweekly whatever it is right and for those yeah, who are I yes yes ayush you see even we had a mandatory course on volunteering like on our summers it was mandatory for us to have a internship project in our portfolio yeah, yes so this is how the world is going true true also that mm-hmm. and also i think one more thing ayush is that i think uh, since the new uh, education policy has launched up um yes. there's a lot of value addition if you're enrolling yourself for distance university uh, sorry distance learning so open university uh, or distance right. learning so for those who don't know this um in india we have a very very good university called as the uh, igno uh, indira gandhi yes. national open university and let's say that you know you are enrolled for a full time course in some college jahan pe aap roz jaate hain college ko whatever you know you have a daily routine and you all you also want a degree in something else which you are fairly interested in let's say i want to do a ba in um, i don't know sociology or history probably so but i don't have the time for it however i do need the degree and i want to study it i will enroll myself to an open university and let me tell you everyone every city every state has its own uh, state distance study center or an open university so do, do your research and and enroll to this you know enroll to such courses and due to covid thanks to covid i would say 
that a lot mm. of international universities like Harvard and Oxford and, and, and Yale, everyone have their now distance and online courses going on, which are credited by them. Mm. Of course, you have to be uh, some uh, amount for and the certificates. Mm. You know, uh, students who cannot afford, you know, all those courses, then Alpha Board is here, Board Infinity is here. We are here for your online learning as well. Absolutely. So you have to take advantage of all of these things. Right. And that's how you build it. You cannot, I repeat this again, and this is not from whatever I've read you. I'm telling this from my own personal experience that you need to expose yourself while you're studying. Do not be of the idea that I'll do this after my graduation. It doesn't work like that. It just doesn't. Yes. Yes, Ayush. Yeah. So this is the basic skeleton of how, how you build your profile. Right. And uh, I think you know, profile is something which is much more looked at uh, when you're applying for uh, foreign studies, just as you mentioned. Because yeah. here in India, you know, we are more focused towards academics, but uh, uh, looking for a university abroad or a job abroad, hmm. you need to have a good profile. So even if you're not looking for jobs, if you're looking for higher studies, building a profile is a much more essential thing. It is, it is. So a lot of people, you know, Ayush, the problem is a lot of people end up taking gap years. This is what I was going to say earlier, is that uh, a lot of people end up taking gap year to build their profile. And uh, yeah, because their profiles are not that strong and they want to get into good programs, then they have to take that gap year forcefully to do something. And, and for those who are preparing, you know, who are planning to now your TOEFL and IELTS and GRE and SATs and everything, you shouldn't be taking a gap year to prepare for this. It should be... Exactly. It should be happening consequently. Try to understand that. You, do you want to go for the summer intake or the spring intake, whatever it is? You need to figure it out and plan accordingly and then check it. Now, please understand, Europe is not accepting IELTS. It's fine if you don't have IELTS, if you're applying for postgrad. So you have to do all these research and, and you have to be updated. There is no other way about it. I'm sorry, uh, your teachers won't spoon feed this to you. Your friends wouldn't. You should be aware of what's happening in your field. Right. Yes. And and I feel that, you know, because of this entire pandemic, everything has become so accessible and then everything has become this power hold of Internet. And, you know, it's just there. All you have to do is just sit and read and, and, and go through it. Absolutely. So, it's, it's the that is missing. Otherwise, this platform like AlphaBoard, there are mentors dedicated for you, you know, who will coach you that if you want to yeah. study studies, this way if you want uh, a good job you can go this way so definitely people make sure to check out follow and public absolutely so ayush do you have any questions uh, i don't have any questions but manali would like to tell me you know what that is uh, so all this while we were talking about what makes a good profile but now could you let me know what makes a bad profile like things we should definitely avoid <laughs> Things you yeah. should definitely avoid is, um, yeah, it breaks my heart to say this, but then uh, you should avoid doing stupid internships. <laughs> yeah, not every people, you know, as a student, even I have done this, we feel that no, somebody is offering us something, it means this is it, this is the chance I have to take it. But you have to be very wise, because you're investing your time. And then that moment, time is very important. And um, I'm not saying that score brilliant marks. If let's say you do not want to do anything, you do not want to uh, learn foreign language, you do not want to do anything, you do not want to do any extra course, then you better have good grades. You, you need to. But uh, Ayush, you know what? Unfortunately, I, I grew up with this mentality that, you know, I, I need to have excellent 10th, gra 10th grade score. I need to have excellent 12th grade score, which I did. And, and I feel sad and, and disheartened because nobody asked me. I'm like, I've scored so good. Nobody asked me. Never in an interview. Nothing. No, it's nada. Nobody has ever concerned about it. Right. But you know, even if we tell this to our past students, we'll be like, "Aapko kya pata is professor se hume kitna pressure hai." Yeah, of course, of course. 
Mm-hmm. It's a cycle of life. It is. It is. And also, one thing about bad profiling is that you know, please understand that um, do not apply for things like even for programs where you already know you do not you are not eligible. That sets a very mm-hmm. wrong impression. Yes. Right. do have an understanding of it and let's say that you know you really want it now, now now i know a lot of people who want to be part of certain programs or companies or whatever and they do not have that qualification so they wait they, they get those qualifications they prepare themselves they invest money and time in in learning whatever it is that they have to learn and then they apply right now having yeah, a plane is- yeah i was like having a plane 10 12 under graduation I, i don't think so it's it's going to work i i really don't think so no absolutely you must not apply because you know even we see this problem every day that students are applying for jobs that they are not eligible for And yeah companies now automated the process so it is not like a human person is going to view your profile first and they'll be like okay this person is interesting let me give him a chance it will be automatically rejected by a computer so you need to be sure that you are eligible for a particular job opportunity yes yes and and i also want to uh, just a uh, red flag for everyone that if you're applying for certain companies i do not want to name drop any but if you're applying for certain companies and let's say you're applying for positions where you're not eligible for and if consistently your application gets rejected twice or thrice it sets a very bad record because it's part of the system you could be doing it out of enthusiasm thinking that let's give it a chance let's give it a chance after watching some inspirational post and video on youtube but it doesn't work like that right right in fact i would like to share you know a real life incident that happened just over a week ago uh, with one of our learners so he was casually just applying to the companies few months ago and then huh. today, uh, then this last week the same company came for a placement from our side now what okay. happened is because he had applied before and got rejected he was not allowed to sit on that because the pooling period was not yet over and this time he was qualified so definitely uh... apply for opportunities that you are eligible for because you are not only uh, putting at stake your present opportunity you are putting at stake your future opportunity as well yes yes and and apart from that like if uh, one more thing oh yes this um i i don't think it's possible for everyone i'm see i'm i'm just giving you all options please understand me and ayush are giving you options this is not the set way of going ahead these are just different categories which you can explore which are safe to explore okay please understand that you can also be uh, applying for multiple you can also be doing uh, multiple internships so volunteering projects okay please understand that you can also do vol- there's a difference between volunteering and internship understand what's the difference there's a high possibility that you are interning somewhere and you're also volunteering somewhere you could do that as well and if not anything a lot of uh, universities i i don't know um i don't know how it uh, works in india but then a lot of universities abroad have a position of a teacher assistant uh, let's say right. you do not uh, if you're planning all of you to go abroad then then you know you you don't know what to do how to get the internship then immediately once you start the admission process contact your hods contact your uh, head of right. the departments and everyone and talk to them and tell them that uh you know what sir i i really would like to take an opportunity or or you know what ma'am i would like to have an opportunity to work under you do you have any projects going on you know just as an assistant uh, position or whatever it is this is how it begins this is how you make connections and i'm not saying that you are going to be in contact with everyone you never know who who picked you up from you know what what how is it going to come back to you after a couple of years or or months when you are actually qualified right so i i i think this is how it is and there's no other way about it you have to explore you have to work hard and you have to do everything in your capacity to to have the knowledge basically not the information the knowledge to do with your field right at the crux of it it all depends do you really love what you're doing right. yeah <laughs> So, yeah thanks a lot manali for joining us it was a great great session and i am pretty yes. sure that students are able to get some amazing insights out of it and yes. so people if you are looking for uh, opportunities like this you are looking for advices like this make sure to follow both alpha board and board infinity as well
So, any parting words, Manali? My parting words. I want to ask. Like, I want students to ask questions. I because Ayush, I feel that we presented such a uh, you know black and white picture of what it is. <laughs> I, I I want students to. I, it's my request to the viewers, in fact, from me and Ayush, that you know, what are your thoughts about it? Do you have any questions? Is anyone here planning to do something on the same lines, or are you part of something like this? Come on, please hit us up. Yes, we'll wait for a couple of seconds for you. Yes, Ayush, did you do any internships when you were in undergraduate? Actually. All the while I was doing internship, I was related to some campus ambassador project as well. Even oh yeah. wow, okay. So people think I was being a campus ambassador. Yeah, but all the while I was doing one internship or other. I think we have a question here. Yeah. Okay. After. Okay. After oh, is it? Intern, is it helpful for my resume? Yes, definitely. It is helpful for your resume. Uh. Yeah, is it Roshan or Rahman? Yeah, Rahman. Yeah. Yes, of course it's helpful, and uh, and and oh yes, one more most important thing out of everything is that you need to have record of everything that you've done. You know, uh, please get your certificates, your letters, your references, and while all of this, let's say you're about to graduate, get reference letters from your lecturers or professors. Uh, make sure you have some of them handy because you need it these days. People are asking for reference letters, so make sure that you have those too, right? Okay. Somebody has said many people have skill but not have certificate. Which platform give him job? Um, so I think this person is asking that you know I don't have a certificate. On what platforms can I apply? So I think you in that case, you know, instead of putting it on the uh, internship section, you can put it in the volunteering section. That I have worked on these these projects, but yeah, I do not have any certification for that. Yeah, yeah. But if possible, I would suggest you to get those certifications because at least a letter. If not, if not the certificate, if it's too late for you, uh, then what you can do is get the signature and stamped and whatever notary thing. Uh, by the university or the college or the institution or organization, you can get a letter signed by them who ran the project right. or the program so that you have yeah. a record of it. So that is very important. Yes. Are there any more questions? I don't think so. I don't see any. Yeah. But uh, yes. Lovely. Lovely. Very well. Yes, Ayush. I hope that, you know, we have uh, inspired people to explore yeah. their fields more today. <laughs> Right. Absolutely. As yes. always, it's amazing talking to you, Manali. Thank uh, you. See you again. Yes, see you All soon. Right. Oh, um, someone has last question. How is going mm -hmm. to impact after having internal proceedings with MS? I'm not sure. Does he mean MS as in, yeah. Which particular field, Rahman, could you please uh, specify? I didn't get your question. Aish, did you catch that? Uh, no, actually, I cannot see that comment. Oh. Mm. He's saying, how is going? How is it probably going to impact after having intern and proceedings mm. with MS? Master uh, Cyber Security. Okay, okay, Master Cyber Security. Okay, so Rahman, see, if you have a, if you want to pursue a cyber security course, let's say you want to do masters in cyber security, or even if you want to apply for a job, right? I will give you a very good example. So let's say you walk by a a road and your car is stuck, right? And you wanted to, the car to be repaired. Now I will give you two options. There is one guy from IIT Kanpur, let's say, or any of the IIT, he has done his mechanical engineering. On the other hand, uh, I have a person who is a mechanic since 20 years. Which guy would you like your car to be repaired with? I think most likely you would go with the person who has the experience. So that is what the job of an internship is. That you can show that you have uh, experience in that field and you are open for growth. Yeah. Very, very well put, Ayush. Very well put. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Yes. So very well. I hope that, you know, uh, everyone has got it. I use this one more question. Which software has good market? I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> uh, which software? Well, you need to first specify the domain. Like if I talk about data science, there is Excel, there is Tableau, there is SQL. 
but if you are talking about uh, cyber security then i am not the right guy to talk about it but yeah you well neither am i <laughs> full stack developer or a data scientist well for full stack you can use vs code it's a great editor for data science nowadays python is uh, something you know that you should really look for and yeah if you are interested in data science make sure to check out the learning path in data science at board infinity very well perfect so uh, right, yes everyone. thank you everyone thank you i can see that rishika has put i love the session well thank you rishika i hope that you join with us every time and uh, thank you ayush thank you it was a great session and hope to see you soon absolutely bye bye